All right, well, that's what much of the country is dealing with here at home. The snow has stopped. It's looking pretty out there. The good news is, for the most part, it really didn't impact our roads much. That, which is great. Yeah, yeah, some of those side streets, of course, as temperatures dropped, and it's still so cold out there. So uh, obviously, the snow is sticking around. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen any sunshine. Once we got to start to see some sunshine, it's going to take that energy from the sun. We have to melt the snow first before we can warm the air up around it. We kind of warm the air yeah. indirectly from the sun because it heats the earth and the earth heats the air around us. But so that's going to go into happening today and then it's going to be brutally cold tonight. But yeah, I mean, it's just a raw day here in East Tennessee. It's going to be uh, staying on the chilly side. Uh, let's uh, take you back to yesterday, shall we? Remember that balmy 65? Yeah, the kids and I were out uh, riding bikes yesterday, taking a walk around the neighborhood, enjoying a nice evening here in East Tennessee because it was so pleasant. We knew there was a drastic drop in temperatures. And well, it is officially here. If you've not been outside for a while, well, it hasn't changed much from earlier this morning, but it is just a raw day. It, it cuts right through you, and man, I tell you what, that cold air sticking around. Uh, shallow indeed, but we still have that layer of clouds that I'm still expecting to erode as we get closer to about 3 o'clock here this afternoon. Either way you look at it, I think we'll have some sunshine before the day is in, ends, ends anyways, but still hanging on to a few flurries. We also talked about that this kind of air mass doesn't hold moisture very well, and so it wrings it out. And so that's about what we're doing over in a severe county. Still seeing some flurries flying here near Gatlinburg, Wares Valley, the Pittman Center area up on top of the Smoky Mountains and the highest peaks of the Smokies. So still ringing out a few flurries, but not enough to cause any issues. So what we have out there right now is what we will have for the day. Now, the all the uh, winter weather advisories, they have now been allowed to expire. So no winter weather advisories here locally. But if you have travel plans into North Carolina, a little bit of snow up there as well. Some slick roads can be anticipated, so watch out for that as the winter weather advisory continues up there. How about this? Winter Wonderland and Kodak from this morning. Uh, thanks to Keeley Ray on Facebook for passing that along. I mean, that is the picture perfect uh, snow event that we're talking about. There's minimal issues on the roads, but just some nice views. And how about a snow turkey, Heather? Yeah, for hashtag Snowvember. Stacy Donito on Facebook passing that one along and Owen's first snow. Yeah, he doesn't seem very impressed, nor would I. If you step out in this cold and how about this Hannah and her son and excuse me and her snowman uh, David Hunt passing that along to us as well. Cool snowman. This is perfect snowman making snow. That is for sure. Some of the heaviest snow was up into parts of Union County, Claiborne, Hawkins County into southeastern Kentucky, southwest Virginia, but a lot of us picking up on them. The story now is the cold air as the winds continue to howl out of the north, gusting to about 2025, sustained 15 to 20 at times. We're talking single digits, teens and 20s. Folks, that's the way it's going to stay for the rest of the day today. Air temperatures will hover in the low 30s, but wind chill values in the 20s dropping down into the teens early tomorrow morning. Look at these low temperatures tomorrow. We're dropping down into the low, mid and upper teens. A little bit of a warm up tomorrow. We're at 43. That's still 20 degrees below the average high for this time of year. Friday, we're only 10 degrees below the average high, and then we start getting close to that average as we get into our Sunday and Monday time frame. So today is the Arctic blast that we've been talking about for days. Well, we'll just have to, I guess, enjoy it while it's here, if that's your thing. Yeah, I like think kids snow. are getting out and enjoying the snow, the ones that especially didn't have to go to school. Yeah, and delays this morning, too. Yeah. All right, Mike, thank you very much.